That is Angelique. I call her Angel. And she came all the way from France to marry me. That's he, that's he, that is John. G-O-H-N. Isn't he cute? Tomorrow he will be my bride. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Thompson. Created by Jess Oppenheimer. Brought to you by Post. Start your day a little bit better with a little bit better cereal. Fresh from Post. Chicken. Ah, chicken. Six. What's on cents? What's on six cents? I said six. Then, uh, dollar, Looks like pretty rough homework. The well, English is a wild language. Oh, no, no, this is not my lesson. Oh, oh Johnny, in American uh, dollars, uh, 66 cents is how many francs? What are you trying to figure out? Poulet. Poulet? The chicken, 66 cents a pound. Oh, it'd be about um, 330 francs. Well, yeah. Three hundred. 330 francs for a pound of chicken? No, but you have lost your head, no? With what do they feed him? Oh, I'm going to have a hug. Now, Johnny, Johnny, I will not think. Well, could you get that cute French temper under control now? Whoa, girl, whoa! I'm not a horse! Now, I have a list where I will shop for tonight. But this place, I will not go to... You know, this is going to be the first time we've had guests for dinner, isn't it? We? Oui? Hmm, have you got butterflies? Butterfly? Yeah. I put it on the list. Uh, no. <laughs> That's just an expression. Uh, butterflies in the stomach, it means, are you nervous, uh, afraid? Why should I be afraid? Well, let's put it that way. I don't know. It's just that, well, you see, American wives are usually afraid that their first meal will be bad. It's sort of an American tradition. Well, there are many things to be feared in a marriage, but, but cooking is not one of them. Well, in that case, how about fixing me a cup of coffee? Hmm? Coming up. <laughs> Boy, well, I'd be glad when you learn to write in English. I can't snoop in French. <laughs> uh, spy, uh, you know, look at things I'm not supposed to. Oh, I'll help you snoop me. <laughs> now, here is... <laughs> Here are the markets I go to, and here is the things I buy in each. Then why so many markets? Why do you just buy everything in one place? Oh, no! That would waste money. Each market has something cheaper than the other. But money... It is done. Now, where did I put my glasses? Here is my lesson coming. Uh, I must read this to the class. We have now... Studied English long, E N O U G H. Enough? Right. I looked it up in the dictionary. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we have now studied English long enough to see that it has problems. There will be many more before we are swapped. The same combination. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> before we are swapped? <laughs> D-H-L-O-U-G-H. What? Oh, no, 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 honey. No, we, we pronounce that through. But it has the same O-U-G-H. Yeah, I know. You see, it, um... Well, I have a feeling that's going to be the whole point of your lesson, so why don't you just go ahead? <laughs>
It's just that it's uh, such a silly language, and you are so cute. From do. <laughs> yeah. I, I picked an apple which was hanging from the... B-O-U-G-H? Hmm. Uh, I picked an apple which was hanging from the bow. <laughs> bow. I have a tickle in my throat and it makes me coo. <laughs> Go. No. Then what is this? Oh. oh, what kind of language do you call this? and 29 cents, madame. Thank you. Uh, may I help you? Oui, yes. Um, uh, I wish to see the artichokes you advertise in the paper for. Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, I'll take care of this lady, Bill. Thank you. Bonjour, madame. Good afternoon. Oh, ça fait plaisir, vous savez, d'avoir une, une cliente qui est jeune et jolie et, et qui vient juste d'arriver de France, hein? Alors, qu'est-ce que vous voulez, madame? I wish to see the artichokes you advertise. The artichokes, very well, right over here. Oh, uh, how much is this? Ten cents a pound. Ten, and now how many francs is... Oh, c'est ridicule! Vous n'allez tout de même pas me dire que c'est le prix! Oh, mais c'est le prix, madame, mais c'est pas cher, vous pas savez. Pas cher? Oh, ben pour qui me prenez-vous pour une enfant? Mais non, madame, je vous prends pour quelqu'un qui ne connaît rien au prix des melons. <rire> oh, un melon comme ça, vous savez, alors seulement 50 francs la livre, c'est pour rien, hein? Pour rien? Vous plaisantez Non, non, madame, je plaisante pas. Enfin, enfin personne ne peut être brûlant. Oh, brûlant, on le fait tous les jours. Hein. Mais c'est du vol, vous abusez des gens qui ne connaissent pas la valeur des choses. <rire> madame, c'est vous qui ne connaissez pas la valeur des choses. Vous payez 25 francs et c'est encore de trop. Oh, madame, vous connaissez le prix, moi j'y perds à ce prix-là. Alors, vous voulez que ma femme, ma femme et mes enfants... Mr. Mar Mr. Martin. Comme des pauvres malheureux. Mr. Martin. Mr. Martin, can I speak to you a minute, please? What are you so worked up about? I've never seen you so upset. You're practically... You are crying. I'll take her off your hands. Oh, what are you trying to do? Spoil my fun? These are tears of happiness. It's like being in France again for a few minutes, don't you see? This is the way shopping should be done. Not, that's the price, take it or leave it, like we have to run this shop. Je m'en pardon, madame. Alors, vous êtes décidé pour le melon, hein? The melon is much too expensive. <laughs> I will not sell it for one sou, one penny less. Very well. Can yes, I see the artichokes, please? Right over here. Oh, let me hold your bag, huh? Thank you. <laughs> Ever tasted. As a matter of fact, the greatest bitter. Oh, thank you. I wish you could cook like this, Susie. Oh, George. George. That's got the most wonderful sound to it, hasn't it? Yes. <laughs> I never heard anything so cute. George. You never called me that. There are a lot of things I've never called you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, well. Say some wine left? No? No, thank you, Annie. Sir? Well, I'm afraid I just can't say no. It certainly is wonderful wine. Well, it's just domestic, but um, Annie says it's pretty good. Yes, it is. Must be terrible compared to the wines you get at home. Well, no. Remember, in France, this would be imported wine. <laughs> that would be a fun. You have my bad heart, Annie. I said this before we were married. <laughs> Delicious, Annie. You know, this is one of the nicest places in town to eat. Well, they've got the cutest waitresses, anyway. <laughs> well, I hope they don't start charging. This meal must have cost a fortune. Well, after all, nothing is too good for our friend. <laughs> John is right. Oh, oh, but it did cost... Oh, 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 how much? Oh, what's the difference? No, 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 I'm interested. How much did it cost, dear? Oh, do you know? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, including the crepe Suzette. And crepe now, Suzette? Uh, now, let's see. I spent 5,250 francs. Oh, 
Well, five thousand. And uh, how much is that in American money? Oh, uh, Jenny. Oh, that'd be a little over ten dollars. Yes, yeah. yes. Ten dollars. Oh, ten dollars. Oh, wait a minute. They just changed the value. That's only five hundred francs now. Oh, that's right. Yes, I've been but cheering it's Annie. Still, for. anyway. Then I'm making dollars and something. Oh, Annie, darling, not for the whole meal. It's just impossible. Oh, no, but it is possible. I will show you. I have it all in my book. First, we have the dessert. Well, here, let us help. Oh, oh no, that's no, a good no, idea. No. <laughs> a huge oh, success, no matter what it costs. <laughs> yeah. You know, she never did tell us exactly how she did all this on Oh, yes, yes, I have it. I wish you No, 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 Annie, I'm only kidding. Oh, really. but I have you. Uh, did you see my school books, Johnny? No, I haven't, honey. Well, well, anyway, I remember. First, I went to the Howard Market for the potato. Terrible. Then I walked to the Central Market you for the... What? Central Market is miles from here. We? Oui? Just the thought of it throws Marion into shock. <laughs> you know, you should try walking sometime, honey. People do it every day. That's... She's afraid it'll make her feet big. <laughs> she just sits around all day. Tell me, who told you about Central Market? The paper, the beef at that place was special. Five cents a pound sheep. I'm flabbergasted. I had no idea that you walked that far. I'll bet. No, you no, really. No, that's that's all right, boy. We <laughs> understand. Frankly, they, they Tell couldn't. us the truth, Johnny. Did you bring her over from France by boat or have her swim over? <laughs> <laughs> no, all kidding aside, it was wonderful. It was certainly was. Good night, kid. Good night, Good night. 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 Ah, it was a good evening for you, Jenny. Oh, honey, it was wonderful. Ah. <laughs> wonderful. And the dinner was delicious. Boy, there is one thing, honey. Yes, Jenny? Um, you now, when you go shopping, there's really no reason for you to go trudging all over town and tire yourself out. Ah, <laughs> gee. Uh, walking. Oh, you are afraid I'm working too hard. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, don't worry. I love it. Oh, well, <clears throat> besides that... Besides what? Uh, hmm? Tiring yourself out. I'd rather you wouldn't do it, Annie. It's wrong. Well... Oh, we don't have to do that. I mean, worry about a penny here and a nickel there. I mean, I know why you... And, and, and I appreciate it, but it's wrong. But... But in France, the husband would be proud. Oh, yes, yes, but you see, over here, it's different. It just doesn't look right. Oh, you understand, don't you, honey? No. Do you think... my parents taught me to do wrong? Oh, no, no, honey, no. <laughs> but it is not wrong. It's right. It's wonderful, but it's right. Well, it isn't. It, it doesn't. I mean, it just. It, it is. It's not the thing. It's it, what kind of a language do we have anyway? There's no way to say it. <laughs> what I'm trying to say, honey, is that. You... Oh no, honey, not that. No, you got it all mixed up. I'm sorry. Look. Oh, honey, I take it all back now. You can save a million dollars, and I won't be angry. Huh? Go. <laughs> Annie. Angel. No, no, Annie. Come on now. Wait a minute. Hey. Now, Annie. You open this door. No, go away! Angel, open up! No! Angelique! <laughs> Just points up the trouble with American women today. They've lost their sense of values. You haven't done anything to save a nickel since we were married. I didn't realize it until tonight, but all you do is spend money. And when I speak to you about it, you get so upset, I have to buy you a new dress. <laughs> Things are going to be different around here. Do you understand? Real different. Are you finished? No. <laughs> I am not finished. Then get out of the way. Pack yourself someplace else. Now you just see how much you can cut down, or I'm going to put you on a lounge. <laughs> that Annie's the kind of a wife a man should have. She helps out. She's a partner. <laughs> <laughs> and don't 
think you can get around me by being nice. When my mind is made up, my mind is made up. Look, this is, this is Satan Green. <laughs> Don't feel that way, Annie. Everybody has little fights. You've just taken the first step on the long stairway of marriage. I think our marriage is finished. Oh, don't say that. My goodness, life would be very dull if we never disagreed on anything. They tell me. <laughs> Why does not Johnny want me to stay money shopping? Is it wrong? Uh, well, not in France. But uh, it's a little different over here. Johnny has told you what to say. No, no. Uh, let me see if I can explain it to you. Um, you love your husband. Oh, yes. And, and you don't want anyone to think he's a failure. A failure? Yes. But he's not. Well, you see, it's very important to American husbands that everybody knows they're doing well. Now, uh, there are only a few ways they can show this. And the most important is the wife. The wife? Yes. Uh, how she dresses, where she's seen, where she shops. Uh, she's sort of an advertisement for her husband. Oh? Uh, so, you see, if you want to make Johnny really happy, you should uh, shop at the best markets and wear the most expensive clothes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there are so many things in America that, that don't make any sense. Hmm. Well, I know it's hard for you to accept something that's so different from what you've been taught. But, my goodness, how do you think I managed to stay married for... Well, for as long as I have. <laughs> I really don't enjoy all the hours I have to spend shopping and all the exclusive salons. It's a sacrifice I make for my husband. <laughs> Why don't you put on a dress and uh, we'll go out to lunch and talk this whole thing over, okay? Okay, uh, I I'll be right off. <sighs> Hello, this is Maurice Martin from the market. You bought some artichokes for me yesterday. Yes. You left your school books. Oh, that is where they were. Well, thank you. I will come and pick them. Oh, I am in the neighborhood. I, I can easily drop them by. Oh, well, that will be nice. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Bought it? Yes! I know the idea you were trying to tell me last night. See? All my new clothes! <laughs> and I don't want people to think that you are a failure, Johnny. A what? A failure! Well, now, come on, what is all this? A hundred and seventy-five dollars! It's not enough! <laughs> the next time I... I don't believe that. <laughs> I knew you had a temper, but you're doing this out of spite. Spite? What does that mean? But don't bother to look it up. I'll tell you what it means. You're trying to pay me back because I happened to hurt your feelings last night. This is a terrible thing to do. You do not like what I do. Well, of course I do not like what you do. Look. You do not like anything I do. Yes, but she look at these clothes for crying out loud. What do you think I am? Talk English, huh? Let's speak this in a civilized language, shall we? What do you want? 
your wife's school books. <laughs> thanks. Oui, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you very much, Monsieur Martin. Yeah, thanks. Uh, excuse me, I, I couldn't help overhearing the, the language problem. Is there anything I can do? No. Écoutez, je sais pas ce qu'il a. Il est Il est un chauffage. Il est complètement furieux. What did she say? Well, she does not understand why you are acting like this, like a like a savage. Like a savage? Well, she is acting like a spoiled, selfish, petty little What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? That egoist. What? You are pig-headed. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh we. Oui? We. Oui. Yeah. That I can understand. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Just what do you mean, pig-headed? It's horrible. You are horrible. Tu es méchant. You are mean. Et tu n'es pas l'homme que j'ai épousé. And you are not the man I married. Well, you are not the girl I married. <laughs> que j'ai épousé. Si je suis. I am too. Oh. No. Forget it. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Ah, je ne veux plus en parler du tout. Ah, si. On va en parler et on va en finir que ça te plaise ou non. Oh, yes. We are going to talk about it. And we are going to finish it right now, whether you like it or not. Merde. Bam. Susie and Marion? Yes. Oh, it seems that they told your wife to buy all these things. They what? Oh, Annie, can't you leave? Listen, honey, did Susie and Marion have anything to do with this? Yes, I, I, I tried to tell you. They, they said it's the way to make your husband happy in America. I'll kill him. <laughs> Sam and George, they've been screaming at their wives to be more like you. Like me? Well, sure, they think you're the perfect wife. And oh, honey, they are so right. Okay, I'm sorry, honey. I am a mean, horrible, oh, big no, headed no, Oh, no, no, yes, Johnny. Oh, can you oh no, I should have known you don't want me to. I'm a dust cloth. For years, I just pushed dust around, didn't get anywhere, till I met Pledge. Now I'm getting somewhere. Of course. Dusting with Pledge does get you somewhere, because Johnson's Pledge gives you waxed beauty instantly as you dust. Just spray and dust. Pledge cleans and waxes as you dust. Picks up dirt, smudges, fingerprints, gives a real wax shine that dries instantly. Or, for hard to get at places, spray cloth first, then dust. Pledge cleans and waxes as you dust. Use Pledge on leather, wood paneling, practically anything dustable. Pledge and your dust cloth belong together. Together we're great. Get Johnson's Pledge for waxed beauty instantly as you dust. Well, it's been an interesting day. We've learned a good lesson and found a good market to patronize. I never tried to overcharge you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, honey. I just happened to think. Where did you get all the money to buy that stuff? You didn't have that much cash. Oh, no, but, but Mario and Susie, they, they said uh, they let me put it on there. Oh, now, how did they call that, uh... Charge? Charge accounts. Well, how nice of them. <laughs> well, you, you can return them. Oh, yeah? Oh, mm. well, good. Well, I, I better be going. 
Goodbye, Miss Lee. Goodbye. Thank you. What are you doing? Well, I just had an idea. Uh, George, hi, it's John. All fine, thanks. Say, uh, Sam isn't there with you by any chance, is he? Oh, he is? Well, good. <laughs> Say, listen, I, uh, you know, my wife isn't too good with the language yet, but I finally understood what she was trying to tell me about this afternoon. And listen, thanks. She is so happy with the presents that your wives bought her. Yeah, well, <laughs> Answer that phone until tomorrow morning. <laughs> well, goodbye, Mrs. Smith. Oh, well, <laughs> goodbye, Mr. Martin. Again, I am sorry about that sock on the jaw. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> it was an accident. <laughs> goodbye, right. Mrs. Smith. Good night. We'll, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. I took both hands in Fresh corn flavor. Start your day with crackling flakes of corn. Toast Toasties. The corn flakes quick toasted to capture that fresh corn flavor. Toast Toasties. Fresh as a sun-ripe ear of corn. A shoopy doopy doopy doo. Flaked and quick toasted, golden and crisp, until each flake is so light it fairly floats into your bowl. That's why... Toast Toasties Corn Flakes come to breakfast crackling with flavor, crackling with fresh corn flavor. Start your day a little bit better. Start your day with Post Toasties crackling fresh, crackling fresh with fresh corn flavor. Better start out with the most, with the tasty golden flakes of corn fresh from Post. Angel has been brought to you by Post, the cereals that start your day a little bit better with a little bit better cereal, fresh from Post. Miss Danny Thomas and all his family, Monday nights over most of these same stations.